seemed like you guys put with more energy today. Did you think so? I thought we, st we uh, started the game that way. I thought we played with a lot of energy in the first half. I don't think we played with very much energy at the halftime. Why not? I don't know. Uh, that's what we got to figure out. You know, again, you can only play on emotion so long. It seemed like, you, obviously besides the energy, was it anything else that kind of made it get out of hand? Because it seemed like you guys had a chance there towards you know, the middle of the second quarter. Like, what, what was the difference? Again, I think, you know, uh, Anytime you have seven penalty and uh, against a really good team, and you're not putting the ball in the end zone, and then you're not getting off the field on third down because you, you got 12 men on the field, uh, those situations that kill you as a offense or a defense, you know, and and so now you put yourself behind the sticks or make the, sh the sticks shorter for a really good football team, and you can't beat good opponents, you know, having seven penalties in the first half. Was the effort there? I mean, was the effort there that you wanted to be uh, in the second half? Well, again, I, I, I just stated that you know, uh, you know I think we, we came out and uh, when I think they uh, we got the ball and we didn't uh, score. Actually, we from the kickoff, but we got it back and, and we didn't score. And then they scored on uh, offense. I think that's when I started. I saw the morale go down. In the final seconds, did you? Were you trying to score before you needed a timeout, or why didn't you call a timeout? And then those last well, uh, personally, I, I think you know. Uh the score to get a touchdown it didn't make a difference. You know, the game was over. So, did you take any positives out of what the team did today? Yeah, I, I think it's positive the way we started. I think both sides of the ball we started good. We just you know shot ourselves in the foot with penalties and uh, jumping off sides or holding and we just, stuff that kills you as an offense or a defense. How did you manage the quarterback situation? You know, I think we was uh, planning to play uh, Jawan the second quarter, but I thought that Malik was doing well, so we kept him in. You mentioned that 12 men on the field and third down, you guys were in position to stop him. Was that just lack of concentration by players or mixed signals coming from the staff? I couldn't be in there. How does that happen? Well, you know, again, uh, Coach Van Gorder signaled in uh, the personnel and one of the D linemen see 30 personnel, so he stayed out and we got caught with 12 men. It's stuff that can't happen. It happened late game, but have you gotten any preliminary idea of what the status on the Malik's Chris arm area is? I, I haven't. Uh, I actually saw him on the last drive. He was about cheering, but that doesn't mean that uh, that's not something wrong. But I haven't had any report yet. You leaked that big run, got you guys down into another scoring position, and then ball start, ball start holding. Do you say something to the offensive line when you want to do it? Of course. Again, we, I'm telling you, we're doing well moving the ball, but you can't beat good football teams continuing to uh, shoot yourself in the foot. Holding or you know, uh, illegal motion, those things kill you. Get you behind the sticks. It seemed like there was more energy in the team and the stadium. Did you notice that, feel that as well? I, did. I thought from the card march, I thought the fans did a great job. I thought they did their part. Uh, you know, uh, Obviously, we, we got to do our part as a football team. And that's the thing I told uh, the guys. You know, uh, all the, we get on there, we tweet about, we're not having fans at the card march and all that kind of stuff. You know, we got to do our part as a team. If we, we, we challenge the fans, we got to put up as a team as well. I think it was Mike Boykin wrote on Twitter that he did not violate any team rules. Um, what can you share about his suspension and what was, what was their reaction? I can share that Mike Boykin uh, actually was suspended for the game because he broke a new team rule that Coach War set. This was the sixth time that you did that you this year. Is there a common thread in the problems you have? Yeah, I think it has a lot to do with, you know, uh, sometimes it's personnel, sometimes it's could be coaching. I mean, there's a lot of things involved. You know, I think we're going into the season. You know, we lost nine starters last year, so you're going to have a young defense, and you know, we we haven't really developed uh, the way we like it for them to develop. Regarding the suspensions, is it bringing a sense of accountability that may have not been there in the last couple of weeks or for months? No, I, you know, again, I, I can only address uh, the time that I've been in charge, and I, I gave the guys a set of rules, and that's what we're going to follow. And if they didn't uh, follow those rules, it will affect their playing time. 
The only thing I know as a coach that I've run in 27 years, the only thing that affects a young man is his playing time. You can run him, he'll, it, it doesn't affect him. You take his playing time, you get the attention. Puma, the missing the engagement, obviously, to get uh, to suspend, get the suspension for the first quarter, and then the second, second first half, he didn't, he was kind of playing low on the sideline. Were you, have you been content with his level of engagement? No, he didn't. We, we, like I said, we had planned to, to start Puma at the beginning of the second quarter, but we thought Malik had started to move the team. We just had some some crazy penalties that put us back behind the stick. So you, know, you go with the guy that you think was had a good flow going. Jonathan Bernard was pretty hot after the game. Is that anything specific, or is that just a guy frustrated by not being able to contribute? I didn't see him, uh, but I'm sure that's the frustration. You know, again, I think it's frustration on his part because he can't help this team uh, being out, and I think it's frustration on his part that we're not winning ball games. And then it looked like Jalen, too, was, was signaling angrily to the sideline after. Did, did you think he just wanted you to call a timeout so he could score? Or? I, you know, I didn't see Jalen doing that. Uh, you know, I told Coach Galloway to, that we was going to, you know, run the football on that drive and, and try to get out of the game. All right. All right, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.